welcome back to the kitchen theater back at the mansion and um, I just wanted to show you my a quick and easy way to marinate meat with my secret recipe okay so I'm gonna get out the meat I do have some chicken unfortunately it's probably going to have to be grown out. It's kind of old. I was going to marinate it, but it's a little bit too late for the chicken. And I hope you guys have enjoyed my videos that I uploaded today. Please hit the thumbs up button and tell your friends about my channel. And if you'd like to support me, you can send me some cash out money and my description below if you want to support my channel live window open and I will be updating some of my thumbnails and um, doing a little bit more work on my social media tomorrow but for today before the day is over, I'm going to marinate my meat. Now, as you know, I had a little those little tapas at that Spanish restaurant. And I just came home. I did one hour of exercise. And, well, I'm kind of hungry. So I might eat a couple pieces of this meat. I don't know. I might not. I haven't decided. But I just want to show you a quick and easy way to just go ahead and get her done marinate your meat and this is short rib center beef USDA from the Asian oh my god look at that didn't mean to do that one Asian grocery store of course I do shop at American grocery stores I'm not weird it just happens to be convenient so first I'm going to wash that I don't like to touch raw meat. I'm a big fan of it. Oops. Well, I mean, I did eat steak tartare earlier, but I mean, it's probably not that big a deal, but, you know, I suppose if I worked in the kitchen and I had my own restaurant, I'd probably want to be washing my hands. Probably be a good idea. lights working. Good for him. Two poo hooray. Isn't that wonderful? Let's give a shout out to Billy Bob. And if you want to see Billy Bob, you can go back in the videos and see the interview with Billy Bob at Inateka Rosa. I'm looking for soy sauce. I hope I have some other soy sauce that's available. I have tempura sauce. See, I thought I brought some, some soy sauce from the other day. Looks like I might be, I might have to go to the back up. All Japanese chefs need to have soy sauce. I'm not an actual chef, but I'm a chef for myself. I do not have a desire to open a restaurant, but I like to go eat at them. Um, I like to do food reviews. You never know. Maybe one day when I become a billionaire and have billions of subscribers on here, maybe I'll open a restaurant. Or put my name to a restaurant and then have someone else run it because I don't know without <laughs> without proper chef training I don't know that I would be a good chef in my own restaurant I might could give suggestions and they'll be like Rachel that's not going to work it's a good thought but or they might say oh, maybe you could test it 
You never know. I might come up with the next greatest thing. All these bottles have all these little things you have to open. Take the paper off, take the thing off, and then pull it open before you even get to the soy sauce. That's fine. I'll worry about it. Now, I'm going to put a little bit in here. Just put that soy in. Okay. I've got my Togarashi spice. And the, this one is, it's the, it's like the cousin of Togarashi, but I think it's just, it's not open, or is it? No, but it's, um, Japanese pepper. I'm going to pass on it, because I don't normally use it, and I just use regular. Some sesame oil. Hope y'all are paying attention. That's really not that hard. Um, of course, we need to add some to the most important ingredients. I can find them. My fridge is a little bit um, unorganized because I've got all these Ziploc baggies and it can be hard to find things. Now, I don't I feel really like, like the ginger. But I love this. Delish. And I put a lot. Not now, now I like spicy food. You don't like spicy food? Well then might wanna kinda not put that much wasabi. Okay. That's up to you. You might want to try it out, test it out, check it out. Um, I will do another coffee video tomorrow. I am hoping... <laughs> I'm hoping it works a little bit better. And this, of course, is sake. Secret ingredient. And then... You know, you can use whatever you want to stir it. And that's up to you. And I'm thinking I should have had a lid on this. You know, so that I could, you know, turn it upside down and shake it. Like a Polaroid picture. But, okay, unfortunately, I don't know if I have the lid. I'm going to look. This is one of these things that, um, like if you order Uber Eats from B.F. Chang's or wherever, whoever... They'll give you these fancy little dishes like this, and you put them in the microwave, and they come with a nice lid. You can reuse them for food prepping or whatever you want. Um, it's wonderful. Let me tell you. Let me see if I have a lid. And for those that are curious, that Delta Lax is starting to work. Thank God. So I'm going to take, tomorrow I'm going to take three capsules, the next day two capsules, the next day one capsule, and then stop. And then I'm just going to um, kind of watch it. Hopefully, and I'm not going to do the fiber until, you know, everything's kind of cleared up. Maybe I just took too much fiber and didn't drink enough water. I really don't know. Who knows? Well, okay. I'm just going like this. Shake. Uh-oh. Well, look. I had good intentions. That didn't work. Maybe I, I have another lid in here, but it's a little dirty. Oh, it's real dirty. Ooh. This is probably the right one. But it's dirty. Oh, it's not too dirty. Really. Mm. I don't do nasty dirty. I mean, if it's just dusty or something, that's okay. But like nasty, like old food, smelly dirty? Mm -mm. I don't do that. 
I'm just washing. I think this is the right lid. I'm washing it with soap because it was pretty nasty. Is this an actual Japanese recipe? Well, is my take on it. So, now, I'm just going to shake it like a Polaroid picture. I didn't put any ginger in it because um, I didn't like, um, I didn't like the ginger and the meat when it cooked. I had to pick it out. It didn't taste very good. So I do like ginger, but maybe ginger spice. And then that's that in a bag of chips. I need to take my trash out. I don't know. For some reason, I, I guess, cause I, I'm, you know, I'm a chef and I cook so much and eat so much and it's uh, easy to kind of, it uh, kind of adds up. Now you can either, you know, let this sit overnight or you could let it sit for 10 minutes. It's going to taste better if you leave it in there for 24 hours. I don't know, maybe 48 might be too, I don't know, at some point and probably not, you know. You could probably freeze it if you wanted to. I mean, I don't have a food saver machine. I just use Ziplocs. I mean, probably if you double Ziploc it, it does the same thing as food saver to get all the air out. I mean, if you don't want your stuff to get freezer burned, if you're going to keep it in there for years. I mean, months, not years. So there you go. Secret and it's beef, USDA beef short rib um, marinade for my beef. And it looks so good, I might have a little bit. And I might heat up whatever leftovers I brought home from that Spanish place. Delicioso, those potatoes. Although, I don't think those would taste good cooked on my secret pan, my four circular, four, four circular pan, or whatever it's called. So, I mean, I can just, I just kind of, ooh, isn't that pretty? Thanks for tuning in to my um, beef marinade video, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo!